Reinforced concrete columns are vertical structural members designed to carry compressive loads. Compression failure of RCC concrete occurs when the axial load acting on the column exceeds the load carrying capacity of the given column. This video is a quick guide to understanding the compression failure of concrete columns, their prevention, and various repair methods. What is compression failure of concrete columns? Compression failure of a concrete column occurs when the compressive stresses developed within is greater than the allowable stress of the column. When axially loaded, both steel and concrete within the column experience stress. As the load increases beyond the column's capacity, the steel and concrete reach their yield strength, leading to immediate failure without significant lateral deformation. We know that there are generally three categories of columns, namely, one, long column with LE by D ratio greater than 12, two, pedestal with LE by D ratio less than three, three, short column with LE by D ratio less than or equal to 12, where LE is the effective length of the column and D is the least lateral dimension of the column. The ratio is called a slenderness ratio. Short columns are more prone to compression failure among the three types due to their inherent stiffness. They fail due to material crushing rather than buckling. Here's why. Limited lateral deformation. Short columns have a lower height to width ratio, restricting their ability to deflect laterally under load. This limits their capacity to redistribute stresses and absorb energy. Increased stress concentration. The restricted deformation leads to higher stress concentrations at the column's ends, making them more susceptible to failure. Reduced buckling resistance. While buckling is more common in slender columns, short columns can still experience localized buckling under high compressive loads, especially if there are imperfections or eccentricities in the load application. How to prevent compression failure of columns. One, avoid overloading. Ensure the load remains within design limits. Two, provide adequate cross-sectional area. The column size should be sufficient for the applied load. Three, provide adequate reinforcement. For limit compressive stresses, the developed stresses must be lower than the design strength. How to repair compression failure in concrete columns. During compression failure, Concrete typically fails first, exhibiting structural cracks. These cracks, such as diagonal or splitting cracks, serve as early warning signs of excessive loading and potential column failure. This early indication provides an opportunity for timely retrofitting to prevent catastrophic collapse. An extreme case of compression failure, known as concrete crushing, results in complete collapse and cannot be repaired. In such instances, the damaged column must be safely removed and replaced. Unless this extreme condition happens, let's look into various methods used to repair concrete columns with compression failure issues. Concrete column repair methods. One, jacketing. Steel jacketing. A steel shell is installed around the column to provide additional strength and confinement. Concrete jacketing. A concrete jacket, often reinforced with steel rebars, is applied to increase the column's load-bearing capacity. Two, fiber-reinforced polymer, FRP, wrapping. FRP sheets are wrapped around the column to enhance its strength and stiffness. This non-invasive method is quick and efficient. Three, partial demolition and reconstruction. In severe cases, damaged sections are removed and replaced with new concrete and reinforcement. Note, Removal of concrete requires additional shoring to provide temporary support. Key considerations for concrete column repair. Structural assessment. A thorough structural assessment is essential to determine the extent of damage and select the appropriate repair method. Load management. Load reduction. Reducing the load on the damaged column can mitigate further deterioration. Load redistribution. Consider how load redistribution may affect the damaged column and adjacent structural members. Material selection and application. Material compatibility. Repair materials should be compatible with the existing concrete and have adequate strength and durability. Workmanship. Proper construction practices and quality control are essential for the long-term performance of the repair. Follow for more construction-related videos.